what the hell is going on here? Why, why are these creepy weens praying to a bed? I don't like this one bit. That's gonna haunt me in my dreams. What the hell? I don't appreciate one how creepy these kids look, and two how creepy the music has suddenly got. These things are definitely gonna come alive in my dreams and hurt me. Greetings, friends, and welcome to this week's episode of Ian's VR Corner. Today, you are finding me inside a work in progress mod for none other than World of Warcraft. Now, you're gonna have to forgive me here because I'm an absolute World of Warcraft noob. I know nothing about this game. I know nothing about what all these icons mean. All I know about this start area is, I think it's where Cartman stabbed some wolves and then shat himself in South Park. Oh, that's a big boy, isn't he? This floating UI, by the way, is a little bit bugged out for me. The, uh, the resolution is very low for these icons. There is a 4K version of this UI that you can also use but uh, it doesn't work for me. So uh, I, I'm fudging it with this one for now because I'm running out of time again this week. Check this out though. I am controlling it via the motion controllers so I can see the camera right in and see my fella, my little warrior there, right up close and personal. But the best thing about this mod is you can also experience the world of Warcraft from first person viewpoint. So I can wander around and I can really get a good look at these wolves here. And if I click on them and then click, I think it's the sword. There we go. I'll attack. Now there's no physical sword swing in here. This is like a tab battler kind of thing. So he's auto battling at the moment. If I zoom out, you can see that the wolf was being defeated there. So I can wander along first person wise and I can uh, Click How on this guy. Hi, Deputy Willem. What can I do for you? Well, it's what I can do for you is the question. Hello there, warrior. Normally I'd be out on the beat looking after the folk of Stormwind. Speak with Marshal McBride. Have a good one. I will have a good one, thank you. So yeah, controlling this, um, if you've never played a World of Warcraft before, like me, <laughs> controlling this mod with the motion controllers is pretty confusing. It would probably be better for everyone concerned if there was like the traditional mouse and keyboard. This game is so complex with all the menus and things. Relearning a game that some people have played for 20 plus years with motion controls when you can't even swing the swords and stuff, it feels a little bit excessive when you could have just had mouse and keyboard. But I like the idea of trying to be a little bit more immersed in this world. Hello. Need help? I do, Marshal McBride, I do. Hey, citizen. You look like a stout one. How dare you? It's just a little bit of holiday weight. I ate too many Easter eggs, you fuck. Complete quest. Oh, I've got rewards and things. Thanks. I don't know what I did. Hi. You got beautiful eyes. I love the way your pupils kind of float in front of your eyeballs there slightly. And that is some... Excellent blinking animations there. Mmm. Love you. If you are a player of Warcraft in any capacity, you're bound to recognize this area because this is the beginning starting area from uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Hello. Now, I have had a few problems installing and getting this mod to work. Like I said, it's work in progress, but I will include links to the github page where you can download this mod for yourselves madam these books are massive biggest books i've ever seen which isn't hard seeing as i don't read books that's the size of a car let's do a bit of parkour Whoop. nice so yeah obviously moving around in first person is the most immersive way to play this game coming out of that hallway and seeing these big trees in front of me was very cool very cool indeed but if you prefer to play in classic third person, you can. And I am on a server with other people. Look, this guy is uh, sat down. There's a horse. Can I get on the horse? 
no idea if I can get on that horse or not. Does it have an accurately modelled butthole? Oh, it does not, but it, it hit me in the face with its tail. Dirty, dirty fiend. A bunny rabbit! Look at this little fella! He's so cute! Holy shit, that's adorable. Come back here, you! I need to squish you! Well, there's, there's a bunch of stuff I could do, quests-wise, but... I don't know where I've got to go or anything like that. Okay, it's it's hard to tell. Yeah, the UI at the moment is, is very low res for me. Um, this is a known bug that is being worked on. But as someone who's never played a World of Warcraft before, uh, it's a little bit weird trying to work out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Look at that dribbly lion. Wow. Hello. You need something? I do, Falcon Insen Strider. Hey there. Speak with the innkeeper at Farley's in the Lion Pride Inn. I'll get some pumpkins. Hell yeah. See you around. Not before I see you around. Oh, look at this little house here. This is pretty, isn't it? <gasps> There's a cow. Oh my god, this cats. There's cows and cats. Whoa, hello, little kitty. Oh, look at you. Hello, goodbye. Ah, oh, you can see it's little beans. Show me your cat beans. Show me your cat beans. Ow. Holy shit, there's loads of cats. Cool. And butterflies. Ah, huh? these flowers are pretty big too. Whoa. Nature. Hello, lady. Lots of cats. My, oh my. Don't you have a lot of cat? Wait a minute. What the hell are you doing with all these cats? You better not be chopping them up and eating them. We'll be having words if you are. Big words. Well, that was troubling, but look. Here's a wolf I can fight. Oh, I could fight it if I knew... Where's my sword gone? Help me! Am I fighting it or just getting my ass kicked by it? I think I'm just getting my ass kicked by it. Fight it! There we go. That's better. Don't be defeated by a mangy wolf, Jimmy Spices. Kick its head in. Ow, it's really biting him on the nutsack. Whew. Finally. Can I fight a cow? <gasps> oh, f I can fight a cow. Whoops. I guess I'll just keep on wondering. Who's this guy? Whoa! Jeez, he stabbed me so hard I've purple farted. Hey! Oh god, up, uh, but. Whee! All well, these lovely big buildings. Everything's nice and chunky and. retro looking. I quite like it. Now, obviously, if I'd have ever played World of Warcraft before, I'd be getting some serious kind of nostalgia right now. Like, whoa! I recognize this building from when I played it years ago, and now it's VR! But I. I don't get that, unfortunately. But it is a nice space to hang around in in VR. What the hell is going on here? Why why are these creepy weens praying to a bed? I don't like this one bit. Has that kid got a moustache? That's going to haunt me in my dreams. What the hell? I don't appreciate one, how creepy these kids look. And two, how creepy the music has suddenly got. These things are definitely going to come alive in my dreams and hurt me. Fuck. Look at you. Hideous. At least you look fairly normal. Ooh, water. Let's try a little bit of swimming. Ah, okay, swimming is done with the direction of your motion controller. It's quite cool. So I just, I, I go in the direction I look, but I can also strafe left and right and move up and down in the water. That's pretty neat. <gasps> a deer. Oh, a baby deer. Let's kill him. Hello. You look very cute. <laughs> Killed your mum. Oh, that one, I didn't like the way that one, like, looked me 
dead in this in my soul. <laughs> Looked me right in my eyes as I killed it. Ooh, felt bad about that. Dark Moon Fair. Ooh, I love fairs. Nice flags though. Oh, wow, very jolly music. Oh. What the hell's been going on in this fair? Are you alive, sir? There's this thing. It's a cat dog. Whoa. What the fuck? Jesus. There's a man on a dog. Scared the shit out of me. Hello, you you look a bit poorly here right there. This guy's absolutely huge. Um You're welcome. Booze! Look at the size of these boozes! Oh shit, now I really wish I had motion control so I could reach out and grab one of these things. Nice pair. The fruit. Even though I've never played World of Warcraft before. Having a look at all these assets in VR is still great. We got the tiger thing in this cage here. Poor little tiger. Who's this little fellow with the magnificent tash? Hey. Hey, Yeb Neblagir. Wants me to get small furry paws. Wait a minute. I'm not killing cats for you, you sicko. But I do know a woman who can. Got this person. Whoa. Are you riding around on a goose? What the f- Oh, the robot goose. Where did you get the robot goose from? Check him out. He's gone for the guile from Street Fighter 2 cut there. Sonic Boom! Why does no one, like, clean up the dead bodies here? They just leave them there in the middle of the road to completely decompose. I mean, that's got to have stunk for months. I don't know where is good to go in this game or, or, or you know, anything. As I've <laughs> demonstrated many times during this Let's Play so far. But let's go for a little walk anyway and see what we can find. Oh, here we go, look. There are a couple of quests I could have done. Including speak to the innkeeper Farley at Lion's Pride, but I'm just going to keep going off in this direction towards Westfall, it looks like. See what I reach. There is quite an impressive castle type structure there. We've got this lovely little bridge to go across. Is that a bear? Cool. Alright, mate. How's it going? Nice helmet. Wow. Westbrook Garrison's pretty fancy, isn't it? That huge crossbow thingy. Those wheels. That's some mad wide wheels there. I wonder how much these alloys cost. Whew, nice doodles, but it uh, seems like it's missing a penis or two on there. All right, let's have a look inside. Oh, that's a shiny sword. If ever I've seen one. Massive. It's taller than me. Hey, everyone. Look at me. Just a strange man off the street wandered into your garrison. You're not bothered. Not very good guards, are you? What kind of animal did that chunk of meat come from? Whoa! They've been murdering the hippos out here. This music's epic. Cool music, huh? Who's this lad? You've got some beer on you. How are you? A morale officer? Well, I can see why he's a morale officer if he's got beers. Jug of bourbon? Bottle of Pinot Noir? Uh, let's get a jug of but Wait, what's, what does flimsy chain boots mean? I don't, I, I've got no idea what's happening. Oh my god. That thing's massive. What the? I'm being attacked by all the wildlife. Shit, what have I hit? Ah, it's a fence. Oh god. Whoa! Fight each other, not me! That's it. Yeah, good. Yeah, scared him off. You right? Scared off a bear. Pretty brave, me. Whoa! Ugh. Getting a bit gloomy around here now. Hey, can I have your fork? Hello. Ah. Farmer Furlbrow does not give a fork. <laughs> what the... What is this? Oh, this guy has definitely wound up. What is it? It's like a haunted scarecrow fucking thing. I don't like it. Should I help him? Am 
I fighting? Oh, he killed it. I was getting my cameras confused there a little bit. Atratos. Seems like you did pretty well, though. What are you sighing at me for? Mwah. All right, I'm following Atratos. Here we go. Looks like you've got a jump in World of Warcraft. Oh, he is. He's fighting these things. Oh, they're so angry. I shall help you, Antratos. Maybe my swipes are doing fairly feeble damage, but... Yeah, I killed it for you, buddy. That was all thanks to me. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, there's lots of harvest golems and... Uh, like a vault tree thing? No. 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 No, thank you. Ow! No, stop... Slowing my... Ouch! My health? Oh, fuck. Oh, God, I died. Oh, Jimmy Spices, no! Whoa! What the f... Jesus? You're different to how the Bible made you look. Kinda... Sexier. How do I come back alive again? Help me! I'm stuck in the spirit realm. Oh, looks like I'm not the only ghost. Return me to life! You can find your corpse and resurrect. Oh. Okay, look at me. I'm alive again and at a grave site. So I died up there and now I'm down here. Can I get to the sea? Let's go in a straight line and see if I can get to the sea. The challenge here of getting to the sea is one, getting through the monsters. Out. And two, me not getting distracted if I do. Oh, God, no. I'm definitely not going to make it past the monsters. Is there a road I can take? Would the road be quicker? I, got, I nearly got to Moon School or something, whatever that is. Whoa. Rather impressive chopper. Hey, wow. Look at this sawmill. That is absolutely crazy, the size of that. What kind of trees are you chopping in here? Why are you rubbing your hands together like you're cooking up a evil scheme? Mwah. Ow. No, I'm nearly in town. Save me. What? You didn't save me. You stabbed me. Oh, f oh bloody hell. Guess this isn't a friendly village then. Well, listen. I've made it painfully obvious that I have no idea what's going on in World of Warcraft. And um, I probably shouldn't play any more of it. Because I'm just... I'm making a pig's ear of it all. I'm in a different grave site now. Where am I now? Wait! Oh, shit. Jimmy Spices might be able to get to the sea after all. How far can I go as a ghost? Okay. Longshore, here we go. At least we get an outro by the seaside. Oh, I'm walking on water. Am I Jeebus now? Oh, I don't think I can go in the lighthouse. That's a shame. Would have been nice to go all the way up there. Never mind. I made it to the sea anyway. So there we go, friends. That was a little look at a World of Warcraft VR mod, which is a bit of a work in progress now. It's been made by Marulu, who is one of the developers on the Half-Life 2 VR mod and the Final Fantasy XIV VR mod, if you've played any of those. And while it is still a little bit scrappy in places because it's a work in progress, if you are a World of Warcraft fan, I feel like you're going to have a great time exploring Warcraft from a first-person perspective and seeing these places that you've probably visited countless times from a first-person viewpoint. It's always great fun looking at assets from games that you've played in flat, up close and personal in 3D. And there are some great little assets in here. But yeah, I will include a link to where you can download this from and instructions for how you can get it working for yourself in the video description below and in the Eurogamer blog post, which uh, I will write as soon as this video is edited. So, 
do give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games and Ian's VR Corner episodes every Sunday. And while I attempt to uh, get off with one of these fishmen with my spirit lips, click on one of these other videos that are on screen and clickable right now. Plenty of uh, adventures in VR on screen for you to try. The playlist is full of them. Hundreds, in fact. Hello. Mwah. Kissed you on your spike because you, your mouth's a little bit too low. Very toothy. Very toothy kisses. Mwah. Love you, fishman.